All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are constantly changing your ways. I hope that whatever you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, that he looks out for your situation. I hope that your mental health gets better. I hope that you are more healed and restored. I pray that you love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, and soul. I pray that you love your neighbors as you love yourself. I hope that your mental health just gets better. I pray that we constantly are improving and getting better to where God needs us to be. I hope that we're embracing that neural path that he gave us. And I just hope that we embrace everything that the Lord has given us and is about to give us as well. All right. So in today's message, I'm going to go through this news roundup. All right. So welcome people. Greetings, shalom, family, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth. Shalom. Welcome and people. Greetings, greetings, body of Christ, family in Christ, family in the kingdom of heaven, church, congregation, assembly, fellowship. Welcome, welcome, people. Thank you all for listening. All right. Now, today's message, we're going to run through this news roundup. All right. There's plenty of events going on in the world. So much going on, all four corners of the earth, the good, bad, and ugly. Plenty of prophecies being fulfilled. A lot of God's judgments, wrath, things to be fulfilled are coming to pass. All right. And his signs and wonders are more evident than ever. So this spiritual warfare is truly intensing on high levels. You get what I'm saying? We have to remember that we're not at war against flesh and blood. We're at war against principalities of the air, wickedness in high places. All right. So we have to really keep on the arm of God in these end times. We're definitely in the days of Noah. We're definitely in the last days, all right? So we have to be alert, sober, watchful people, vigilant, firm, and steadfast people for the Lord. Amen. So what I'm going to do is discuss all the things that's going on all over in America, all over the world in this quick news roundup. Just read through the tabloids and just share from there. And then we'll close out with a prayer, a priestly blessing, and chop it up from there, all right? So let us go through this news roundup, all right? North Korea tests a powerful new kind of missile. North Korea flies a missile by Japan. A horrific explosion and fire kills 18,000 cattle in Texas. Descent, Governor DeSantis signs Florida's six-week abortion ban into law. GOP billionaire Harlan Crow purchased property from Justin Clarence Thomas, according to a new report. Leaked Pentagon documents Air National Guardsmen arrested. Jack Texeria expected in court Friday. Photos show waterlogged Fort Lauderdale Airport flooded Florida streets amid huge rainstorm. Yeah, man, it's crazy stuff going on down South Florida, man, so... Um, wild stuff down there, man, and floods and everything. Crazy rain out there, you know. I was raised in South Florida, so I already know the vibes down there, all right? Let's see what we have here. Companies can't do layoffs, right, because they're trying to act like cool parents. All right, a lot of company layoffs going on right now. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ukraine reports unrelenting Russian attacks on key city of Bak- Bakhmut. All right, let's see what we have here. North Korea says it tested the new solid fuel ICBM, state media report media reports. Let's see what we have going on here. They said the killer for the uh, cash app stab person has been found. The suspect has been found and arrested. Let's see what we have here. Why Senator Feinstein's absence is a big problem for Democrats. Suspect in leaked probe talked about God, guns, and war secrets. Supreme Court leaves student loan settlement in place. Women are earning more money, but they're still picking up a heavier load at home. Hmm. Let's see. Joe Biden mocked after Hunter has to explain child's question in Ireland. I'm so embarrassed for my country. All right. Let's see what we have here. Young couple's shocking story of being nearly a million dollars in debt goes viral. So we're just running through every tablet that we see. So just bear with me as I'm reading it as it is. OK, a stunning leak arrest spotlights major ongoing U.S. intelligence vulnerabilities. Let's see what we have going on here. FBI makes probable cause arrest in connection with classified documents leak. Justice Department to take abortion pill fight the Supreme Court Garland. Let's see what we have here. Suspected U.S. intelligence leaker arrested in Massachusetts. 
Let's see. Let's see. All right. Now, let's see what we have here. Sad that we live in a country that requires people to work three jobs. Independent contractor posts insane work schedule. Biden administration moves to ban health care workers from reporting abortions to police. The real reason Biden is backing electric cars. China warns its carrier killer missiles will strike down U.S. forces before they even see Taiwan as World War III tensions rise. Interesting. Brazil's president Lula urges developing countries to abandon dollar as global reserve currency. Experts on alert for mega quake off U.S. coast due to hole on a fault line. U.S. Army teaching officers at Fort Leavenworth that white people can't experience racism. <laughs> Man caught with loaded stolen revolver and hundreds of rounds of ammo. B.C. Let's see what we have here. Screaming people and bodies everywhere. The horrific aftermath of Myanmar junta airstrike that killed 165 people. Up to 40,000 migrants amassed at border at, as the end of Title 42 looms. Russia could be an economic colony of China. Nuclear threat should be taken lightly, CIA director. Hmm. Steve Forbes warns storm of clouds ahead of for economy. Rips Biden's EV push shows cra- shows how crazy these people are. Let's see what we got going on. Gavin Newsom contri- contributes to the new American civil war he sees underway. Hmm. Study warns critical ocean current is nearing collapse. That would be a global disaster. Billions of iPhone and Android users warned by U.S. government to check inbox for bank rating phone number. Let's see what we have here. First new insurance company moves into Florida as rates continue to climb. The EPA's ban of gasoline-powered cars will actually slow development of electric cars. Hmm, interesting. China could cross a red line and starting, start arming Russia if Ukraine pulls off a major counterattack, leaked Pentagon papers say. So there's a lot going on, people. A lot going on. All right. Air Force eyes moving teams from Europe to the Western Pacific in a hurry. All this prophecy being fulfilled. De-dollarization escalates amid U.S. economic warfare and air fraud policies, economist says. Wait, what? Scammers used artificial intelligence to clone daughter's voice so they could demand a million dollars ransom from the mother. Wow. Ex-Obama staff were willing to testify under oath that Joe and Hunter Biden were involved in Burisma kickback scheme. 58% of all Americans are stuck in the common financial trap survey reveals. Are you one of them? Millions of Americans are feeling the pressure of inflation. Biden says it's the time for the federal workforce to substantially increase in-person work. The investor can spot market bubbles. Now he's warning of anonymous, anonymous bus. America's disease burden is getting heavier by the day and it's unevenly distributed across the states. Health is wealth, people. Wealthy West has little excuse after finally waking up the global debt crisis. Yeah, just a lot going on. Banks expected to approve fewer mortgages as number of people defaulting on loans rises. Layoffs, higher prices, and fewer choices could be consequences of Biden's new policy, experts warn. The United States needs a plan to take in the Inflation Reduction Act abroad. All right, so there you have it, y'all. All right, I just wanted to just run through the news tablets just really fast and quick. There's plenty of stuff going on in America and all over the world. This world is moving at a fast rate that many people can't even keep up with. All right, this is why we have to just keep worshiping the Lord and keep doing God's will and Father's business until Jesus comes back. All right, because this world is going in a weird direction. And let us go upward and forward with our walks with God from here on out, all right? But let us not be too heavenly minded with no earthly good. And let us not be too righteous or too wise, all right? It's important to understand physical matters as well as understanding spiritual warfare, understanding earthly warfare as well, understanding how much all these things can affect humanity, okay? So there you have it, y'all. That's the news roundup for this week. All right, so what I would love to do 
as we close out is give all the glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. All right, so here we go. Yes, he is the hope for humanity. He is the last hope. He is the last Adam, the second Adam, the advocate, the almighty, the true and living almighty God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd. Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring. The Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, the Eternal Life, the Everlasting Father, the Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and the Last, the First Begotten, Firstborn from the Dead, Firstborn of all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Hair of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One, the Hope, the Hope of Glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal, the king of Israel. Yes, he is the king of kings. Amen. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, and commander. The life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, the sufficient one, sustainer, yes, the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of the widows, yes, he is the name above all names, the true living God outstretched arm, mighty hand, and the sun sits at the right hand of him. Yes, he is the carpenter. Yes, yes. The Lord is a consuming fire. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows. The government rests on his shoulders. The mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb. The power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrected, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the radiant one, the perfect example, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the restorer, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, Hosanna, Hosanna, ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed. Son of the Most High God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The Son of Righteousness, the Just One, the One Mediator, the Stone the Builders Rejected, the True Bread, the True God, the True Healer, the Great Physician. Yes, the True Light, the True Vine. Yes, he is the truth. Yes, he is the way. He is the way, truth, and life. Nothing is too hard for him. He made all this in six days and rested on the seventh. Wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counsel, the word, the word of God, the word of Yah, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, yes, the word of God. Yes, the word of life, the word. Amen. We touch and agree. We serve an awesome creator and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. Yes, yes. In the authority and the power name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, loved, forgiven, embraced, loved, healed, anointed, new creature in Christ, born again, repentance, baptism, stability, steadfast, prosperity, love, graciousness, the goodness of life. I speak that over your life. Amen. Yes. Let us be faithful to the Lord and his law, such a commandments. Let, let us love the Lord our God with all of our mind, heart, and soul. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Amen. Let us embrace the word. Let us enjoy the gospel. Let us spread it to everyone out there. Let us be hearers, not just hearers of the word, but doers of the word as well. Amen. Yes, yes. So there you have it. All right. That is the message for today. Just the news roundup. All right, just got to be aware of what's going on. Got to be watchful people, not fearful, but watchful. All right, the Lord calls to be watchful people, to be watchmen in these end times. All right, all four corners of the earth, we got to be aware of what's going on and not be too paranoid about it. We still have to work hard and enjoy our lives and do what we have to do day by day, but let us not be lacking out here. You know, let us not get caught slipping. 
Let us always stay on that narrow path for the Lord. And we know that the Lord is the ultimate provider and that the Lord will guide us and he will bless us abundantly. Amen. Nobody has resources the way the Lord does. Amen. So always remember that. Keep that in mind in your hearts. Amen. If you're dealing with depression or sadness or anger or resentment, um, please, I pray, I pray that the Lord pour out his love and his spirit towards you to calm you down. Amen. Anybody that's dealing with homicidal thoughts or suicidal thoughts or uh, sadness, depression, or, um, you know, any of those negative emotions, anybody dealing with anxiety or overthinking, I pray that the most I give you a peace of mind. I pray that you renew your mind to Christ to be ye transformed in the ways of the world. All right. I pray that you have your mind on things above and not below. You have your mind on things that are pure, just, good, holy. You know what I mean? So you can know and accept and be known what the will of God is. Amen. So there you have it, y'all, all right? So I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized and you change your ways. I pray that you, you know, just know that the Lord is on his way, all right? Jesus is coming back like a thief in the night. So let us do Father's business and Father's will. Let us put our hands to the plow. Let us not be caught with our work undone, amen? Let us always keep working for the Lord. Keep working for Jesus until he comes back, all right? So there you have it. I want to give you all this priestly blessing as we close out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his counsels upon you and give you peace. Shalom. Yes, yes. Jarvis Kings, I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.